What's up guys and welcome back to the, oh my god, look at it, my hair is wild right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's awesome to see your smiling faces again. Um, today we are going to be doing a install video, but before we do get into that, I just want to say quickly, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I post videos as often as I can, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll get notified every single time that I upload. Also on the other side, don't forget to check out our website where you can go and check out rides that we feature on the site. You can check out events that we're going to be going to, either um, participating in as a competitor and or going as media coverage. So make sure you go check out the website, www.staticlose.com. Um, and you can also get your Static Lowe's merch right there as well. So that's pretty awesome, I think. So let's go get into this install video. Wait a minute, that's the wrong car. I went to the wrong car. All right, so when I say install, I guess I really mean delete. Today we're gonna to be deleting the rear wiper on the static reel. And the first thing you're gonna need is some tools. So let's go get that. I'm not, I, I'm not about to go show you uh, my tool room. It's pretty messy. And when I mean messy, I mean, hoo -hoo, it is messy. And also, I guess we kind of need to uncover the car too for this. deleting today off of the static reel. The rear wiper, gone, finito, out of here. Let's get a cleaner look going on in the back. And uh, also we're gonna be doing this on the front too, but that's just strictly for shows. Now I've gone ahead and grabbed a few tools that I think that I might need. A couple, uh, couple flathead screwdrivers just to pry things off with, and a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter um, socket on it, because I'm just taking a guess and thinking that it's a 10 mil. First things first, you're gonna need to pry off this little, this little like end piece right here on the wiper. Um, I think you just kind of get in here and. Pop it off like so. Next, there's a little bolt right here that you need to take off to get the wiper off itself. And I'm gonna say it's a 10. And I was right. So let's do that. And always keep your parts that you remove off of your car just in case because you never know when you're going to need them again. So once you have this bolt off right here, this wiper essentially should just come right off like butter. Here comes the tricky part. Now you need to get the wiper motor out of this little area here. So you can plug this after you're done. Now to do that, you're gonna first open the hatch. Well, you're gonna first unlock the car. You're gonna then open up the hatch. And all this plastic, all this plastic paneling right here that you see needs to come out because we gotta get the motor from inside here out of this panel. Now in order to do this, it looks like there is two screws located right here, one and two, that's directly connected to this panel. So you're gonna need to take out those screws first. Let me just show you. Number one on the left side, and Mr. Number two on the right side. And remember, put these in a safe place so you remember where they are to put them back in. Two, two, success! Ah! All right, those screws are gone, so essentially this should just pop right out. 
Let's see how this goes. Oh, like butter. <laughs> you know what? I should get this carbon fiber overlaid. Ooh, that's a thought. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Next comes the tricky part. So first you're gonna need to remove all the electronics from the wiper motor itself. From the wiper motor itself. Next, there's three bolts that's holding the motor into the car. And then you're gonna also have to find um, the, the windshield washer line and kind of um, tap that off or tape that off or do something or whatever you want to do with it so uh, no uh, windshield washer fluid gets into the back of all of this beautiful mess here and cause something to wreck. Let's get these clips out. Clip number one. Clippy number two. So I think the next step would to be remove the motor because I can't see where the uh, fluid line is running to just yet. So let's remove the motor piece now. And you're in luck because it is the same 10 millimeter socket used prior. Let's go. Okay, moment of truth. This should now essentially just pop down. Oh, 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 oh yes. And look at that. That's about five to seven pounds of weight reduction there, people. Horsepower. Weight to horsepower ratio. Think about it. So fast. So now we need to pop out the little rubber grommet right here. Probably can't see it that well, but uh, I can't really, can't really get that close to it. Oh, where the hell is it going? Just be careful while you're doing this. You don't want to. You don't want to sc scratch your glass or anything like that, so just go easy with it and it should pop right out. So now what you're left with is a beautiful hole right in the middle of your back window here. Um, so you will need to go to your local hardware store, Canadian Tire, whatever store you go to to buy stuff, I guess, and find a flush mount rubber plug for this and maybe some silicone just for the inside of it just to ensure that uh, no moisture gets into the back of or inside anything here so and uh, now you may be asking Sean why are you doing a rear wiper delete right now in the middle of winter um, actually we have a show coming up let me just talk to you right here like this like I'm making making out with the uh, the tripod here. Anyways, uh, we have a show coming up in Toronto in less than two weeks. It is not this weekend coming up, but next weekend, March 9th, 10th, and 11th, we will be at the Motorama Custom Car Show in Toronto in the Spring Fever Hall. That's hall number four. Um, so make sure you come out and say hi, check out the car. And to be quite honest, I would have done uh, this rear wiper delete uh, earlier and for the auto show a couple weeks ago, but I didn't think about it Somebody actually mentioned to mentioned it to me at the auto show and I was like man You are absolutely right that would clean up the back and not only am I going to be doing the rear uh, rear wiper delete but just strictly for shows and show purposes only I'm going to be doing the wiper delete on the front too as well and it will just give an overall much, much cleaner look to the car. So what we need to do now is go out and find some caps for the front two and a flush rubber mount plug for the back one. Also guys, one more thing before you go out and get the, uh, the rubber plug that you need to, to, uh, to put in the hole here. Um, measure it first. I can't stress that enough. Measure 
the whole diameter that you uh, you will need to get first before you go out because you'll be sitting there and then you'll be like which one do I get and then you just have to get them all because you didn't measure so measure I'm also going to take one of these off right now just so I can measure that also and get a nice fitting cap to go on here for when I do for when I do the front wiper delete for for at the show. Just pop that little cap off guys um, with the screwdriver or flathead just get it, put it underneath pops it right out and actually looking at this right now I might even be able to reuse these caps to put back onto the bolt that holds the wiper there to, uh, to um, clean up the look. So I might not even have to get caps for the front. Let's find out. Unfortunately, it is not gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt for the front wipers. It's probably gonna be like a 14 or a 15. I just guessed and I brought a 14 up, so let's see if this works. And be careful not to hit your wrap if you are a wrapped car. <laughs> yep, 14 guys. Okay, so we just pop that off, just like the back one. There's that arm there. Now I'm gonna put on that bolt again and get it to go down. As far as it'll want, it'll go. So right about there. So let's grab this cap and hopefully it'll snap back on. There we go. I might try and find a rubber grommet for right there, the inside here, just, just to clean it up a little bit more. So, but those caps will work straight from the wiper itself. And look, look how clean. I know it's hard to tell, but like without that wiper, look how clean it already starts to, is starting to look. I love it. All right, so now we measure this back one is one inch and this front opening here which I'm not sure if I'll get a grommet or not but it looks to be about an inch and a quarter yeah an inch and a quarter court an inch and a quarter for that uh, that front one there so now that we have the measurements the front wipers back on we can cover the car back up and go get some plugs Having this carport right at my house is nice. Being able to cover the car, keep it out of the elements for the most part is nice. Being able to work in a dry area is nice. However, a garage would be mint. Ooh, I am just waiting for the day that we finish this house, all the rentals that we're doing, put it up for sale, and get a house with a nice two-bay garage. All right, before we head out here, we're just going to help out our friends at Ground Rules and uh, get the promo video that I did for them uploaded onto their YouTube page. Make sure you check out the promo video and make sure you check out the show itself. It's going to be good. It's July sometime. Uh, it's all in the, all the information's in the video. So uh, make sure you book it off. Come out to the event. It's fairly local and it's a, it's a good show. So as you can see, we're now uploading that promo video for Ground Rules, so make sure you go check that out. All right, so we've just been waiting on this Joe Schmo to get here. Now we can actually leave. Find out if they have what we need. Hopefully they do. I'm not even sure where to start looking for it, so. No. 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 Nope. Nope. No. All right, so that was the automotive section. We did not have any luck there. We're gonna go try plumbing now. Take a cup. This might take a couple trips to a few different locations to get what we need. Hmm. No, no, that's not what we need. Canadian Tire was a bust. So everything local has been a bust so far, which I kind of already figured that it might be, 
So what we need to do now is, ooh, two bucks. Check this out. Oh man. I might have to. I might have to pick this up right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna have to go on to Amazon, eBay, or the KillAllWipers.com website and order me a grommet to fill this gap. Um, other than that, nothing local. What can you do? Try local first, though. Always support local. Okay, so back home now. Um, like I said, no store that I went to locally had anything that would work for me. Um, I was just about to buy something off of uh, eBay or Amazon, but my buddy Evan, who's here right now, called um, his dad's dealership and they might have something that works, so he's gonna go pick that up for me and we're gonna see if it's gonna work. If, I mean, even temporarily until I get an actual, like, really nice looking one, so. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted, but that's it for the video today guys I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget we are at Motorama in the next week and a half It's March 9th 10th and 11th. So if you do plan on coming to that show Please make sure you come say hi and check out the static reel. I'll be around most of the weekend Hanging out with the family so come say hi and check out the rest of the event. It's gonna be great So uh, that being said guys, you know the drill stay awesome stay low. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.